Imagine it's the end of the year, and you suddenly remember you haven't looked at your taxes yet. You scramble to find receipts and documents, feeling stressed and rushed. Sound familiar? Many of us put off tasks like these, thinking they can wait, but this habit of delaying important tasks is called procrastination. It might seem like a small issue, just a personal quirk, but procrastination, especially when it comes to managing our money, can have some serious hidden costs. In this video, we're going to dive into what procrastination really costs us from the viewpoint of an accountant. We'll explore how putting off financial decisions can lead to unnecessary fees, missed opportunities, and even affect our long-term financial health. Whether it's paying more in late fees or missing out on the growth of an early investment, the price of procrastination is higher than you might think. Let's uncover these hidden costs and see how we can avoid them to keep our finances in tip-top shape. Understanding procrastination. Procrastination is when you delay or put off tasks until the last minute, even though you know it might cause trouble later. In terms of handling money, this could mean waiting until the due date to pay bills or not sorting out your savings plan. Many of us procrastinate, but why do we do it, especially when it comes to important financial decisions? One big reason is fear. Sometimes, making big financial decisions is scary. You might be afraid of making a mistake, or maybe you feel overwhelmed by all the choices and information. This can make you freeze up and put things off. Another reason is that we often prefer to feel good now rather than later. It's more fun to watch a movie than to sit down and plan a budget, right? This preference for immediate gratification can lead us to procrastinate on things that don't give us an instant reward. Understanding these psychological factors can help us tackle procrastination. We procrastinate not because we are lazy, but because we are trying to avoid discomfort or because we want to enjoy something right now instead of doing something that pays off in the future. But as we'll see, the temporary relief or pleasure can cost us a lot more in the long run. Direct financial consequences. When you procrastinate on your financial responsibilities, you can end up facing some immediate and costly consequences. Let's break down what that really means in terms of your money. Firstly, one of the most straightforward costs of procrastination is late fees. Whether it's your credit card bill, a loan payment, or your utilities, many companies charge extra fees if you pay after the due date. These fees can add up quickly, making what you owe much more than you initially thought. For instance, if you miss your credit card payment, you could be hit with a late fee of up to $40 each time, and if it happens often, these fees can make a big dent in your wallet. Next, there's the issue of interest accrual. When you delay paying off debts, especially those with high interest rates like credit cards or personal loans, the interest continues to accumulate. This means you're not just paying late fees, you're also increasing the total amount of money you owe because the interest has more time to grow. For example, if you have a credit card balance of $1,000 with an annual interest rate of 20% and you delay your payments, the amount of interest you owe grows each day it remains unpaid. Let's use a simple scenario. Imagine you owe $1,000 on a credit card. If you pay on time, you might pay about $200 in interest over the year if you're gradually paying it off. But if you delay and let the balance linger, not only do you pay the original $1,000 and the $200 interest, but you also pay extra in accrued interest and late fees, potentially pushing your total cost to $1,300 or more. These direct financial penalties Late fees and increased interest show how procrastination can drain your funds more than expected. Impact on investment opportunities. Delaying financial decisions doesn't just lead to late fees or higher interest costs. It also means missing out on valuable investment opportunities. When you put off investing, whether in stocks, real estate, or other assets, you miss the benefits of what investors call time in the market. The earlier you invest, the more time your money has to grow through the power of compound interest. 
Compound interest is when you earn interest on both the money you originally invested and the interest you've accumulated over time. This can significantly increase your returns, but it requires starting as early as possible. Consider this example. If two people invest in the stock market, but one starts at age 25 and the other at 35, the person who started earlier has a huge advantage. Even if they both invest the same amount of money each month, the earlier investor can end up with much more money by retirement because their investments have had more time to grow and accrue additional earnings from interest. Missing out on these gains because of procrastination can be costly. For instance, delaying an investment decision by just a few years could mean losing out on thousands of dollars in potential earnings. This is especially true in markets like real estate or stocks, where timing can significantly influence your return on investment. Prices and rates can change rapidly. Waiting too long might mean buying at a higher price or receiving a lower yield. Additionally, by procrastinating, you risk entering the market at a less advantageous time. Market conditions can fluctuate, and by delaying, you might miss a prime buying opportunity when prices are favorable, forcing you to invest later at higher prices or during less stable conditions. The cost of procrastination in terms of missed investment opportunities can be substantial. Not only do you face potential direct financial losses from fees and interest, but you also forfeit the powerful advantage of time, which is crucial for growing your investments and securing your financial future. Psychological and Emotional Costs Procrastinating on financial decisions doesn't just hurt your wallet, it also takes a toll on your mental and emotional health. Let's look at how delaying important financial tasks can lead to stress and affect your overall well-being. When you put off financial responsibilities, such as not planning your budget or avoiding looking at your expenses, it can create a constant sense of dread. This feeling often lingers in the back of your mind, knowing you have unfinished business that could lead to problems. Over time, this ongoing stress can cause anxiety, making it even harder to tackle the tasks you've been avoiding. It becomes a cycle, you procrastinate because you're stressed, but procrastinating only makes you more stressed. This stress can also impact your ability to make clear and confident decisions. When you're overwhelmed, your decision-making skills can suffer, leading you to make hasty or poorly thought-out choices when you finally do address your finances. This can result in even more financial mistakes, creating further stress and regret. Moreover, Chronic stress from ongoing procrastination can affect your mental health more broadly, leading to issues like sleep disturbances, irritability, and a decreased quality of life. These problems can extend beyond finances, affecting relationships and job performance, which in turn can lead to new or worsening financial problems in a feedback loop of stress and poor decisions. The psychological and emotional costs of financial procrastination are significant. They not only affect your financial health, but also your mental well-being and quality of life. Breaking the cycle of procrastination can help you reduce stress, make better decisions, and improve both your financial and overall life satisfaction. Long-term effects on personal and professional growth. Procrastination can significantly hinder your personal and professional growth over the long term. When you continually put off financial decisions, it not only impacts your immediate financial situation, but also your future career and lifestyle opportunities. In your career, procrastinating on financial decisions related to education or professional development can delay or even prevent career advancement. For example, if you keep postponing enrollment in a course or certification that could qualify you for a promotion or a new job, you're not only missing out on potential salary increases, but also on the opportunity to enhance your skills and marketability. This delay in professional development can keep you stuck in lower paying jobs without the opportunity to progress. Moreover, procrastination can affect your retirement planning. Many people delay starting their retirement savings or fail to adjust their savings plan as their financial situation changes. 
This can have a severe impact on the quality of life in retirement. Starting to save later in life often means having less money to enjoy your retirement years because you missed out on years of compound interest that could have significantly increased your savings. These long-term effects extend beyond just missing out on money. They can lead to a sense of unfulfillment and regret. Knowing that you could have been in a better position if you had acted sooner can lead to frustration and dissatisfaction with your personal and professional life. Breaking free from the habit of procrastination and taking timely actions on your financial decisions can thus not only boost your financial health, but also empower you to achieve personal satisfaction and professional success. Taking control of your finances is a critical step towards realizing your full potential in all areas of your life. Strategies to Overcome Financial Procrastination Overcoming financial procrastination can transform your money management and lead to better financial health and opportunities. Here are some practical strategies to help you stop putting off important financial tasks. 1. Set clear, achievable goals. Start by setting specific, realistic financial goals. Whether it's saving for a down payment on a house, paying off debt, or setting aside money for retirement, clear goals give you a reason to stay on track and make it harder to procrastinate. Break these goals down into smaller, manageable steps so they don't feel overwhelming. 2. Use schedules and deadlines. Treat your financial tasks like appointments. Set specific times and dates by when you want to accomplish tasks like reviewing your budget, paying bills, or meeting with a financial advisor. Write these dates in your calendar or set reminders on your phone. Treating these tasks as non-negotiable appointments can help you take them more seriously. 3. Automate financial decisions. Automation is a powerful tool against procrastination. Set up automatic transfers to your savings account, automatic bill payments, and investment contributions. Automation ensures that these important tasks don't get delayed, helping you avoid late fees and missed growth opportunities. 4. Simplify your financial life. Sometimes, financial tasks are postponed because they seem too complicated. Try to simplify your financial management by consolidating accounts, opting for simpler investment options, or using financial management apps. A simpler financial life can reduce the intimidation factor and make it easier to handle tasks promptly. 5. Hold yourself accountable. Share your financial goals with a friend, family member, or a financial advisor who can help keep you accountable. Regular check-ins can motivate you to stay on track. Knowing that someone else is aware of your goals and progress can provide an extra push against procrastination. 6. Reflect on the benefits. Regularly remind yourself of the benefits of taking action. Whether it's the peace of mind from knowing your bills are paid, the growth of your investments, or moving closer to your financial goals, focusing on the positive outcomes can motivate you to take action. By implementing these strategies, you can begin to tackle financial tasks more promptly, reducing stress, and enhancing your financial well-being. Overcoming procrastination is about making intentional choices today that will benefit your future self. Remember, every day you delay is a missed opportunity for growth and stability. So, let's start today by taking small, actionable steps towards our financial goals. I encourage you to assess your own financial habits and consider what changes you can make to avoid the pitfalls of procrastination. Your future self will thank you for the efforts you make today. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to take action right now by liking and subscribing for more financial wisdom.